All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, wow, it's my first time doing this. First ever movie review, uh, review on the channel. Make sure you guys thumb this up. If you guys like this, make sure you thumb this up. I would uh, gladly appreciate it. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this, man. Let me tell you something. A lot of people are... I've seen a lot of other people review this, and they're giving like weird reactions. I'm going to tell you right now, this is by far one of the best Marvel movies we got in a long time. It's awesome. I absolutely fell in love with everything I've seen. I liked everything that I've seen. Um, in terms of uh, Spider-Man in general, you know, Tom Holland, the new guy, I would say Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man that we've gotten of this generation. Now, obviously, if we go back, everybody's going to say Toby's their... Um, their uh their childhood like myself that's their childhood and i'm not even going to compare him to toby why let's face it that's our childhood and that's something that's very hard to beat you know what i'm saying it's like when you uh compare christian bale's batman to that of michael keaton back in the 1980s you know what i'm saying these are basically two different uh versions of the character for two different generations and i think it's fair to say that um it really is a tie in the most part but it's actually told in very different ways obviously toby mcguire's in college in his version and he's more of a uh, mature spider-man he's dealing with life and he's got marriage and vice versa you know what i'm saying hardships of uh actually having a legit job at the same time being a full-time superhero and being disliked by society whereas we go here into this one uh this one you know we got peter parker who's never legit been into a legit fist fight in his life aside from the whole uh civil war thing he's never been a legit fist fight in his life uh the dude is a nerd and um you know he's pretty much an outcast in a sense you know he's he's basically part of the quote-unquote losers club if i want to be specific like you know from it he's basically part of the losers club he's got a friend who's uh, very nerdy and vice versa but i'll tell you right now this movie does absolutely everything that i wanted it to do for spider-man not only did it make him look good it had awesome action sequences not only did it have great chemistry and it had great funny uh, moments it absolutely definitely captures spider-man even better it captures him in the best way possible especially in terms of a younger spider-man let's face it spider-man is a goofball <laughs> he's a goofball when he's beating your ass he's making jokes he's having fun you know, he's not even trying half the time, you know? That's Spider-Man. This movie does that with flying colors, and I absolutely loved it. Now, let's go ahead and get into this. A lot of people thought uh, Iron Man was going to be a big part of this. Like, a lot of people thought Tony Stark was legit going to be, like, in the whole movie. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, do not threat. He is not in this movie, like, that much. He is. He does have these moments in here, but keep that in mind. It's mostly to set up the, the Avengers sort of thing. It's mostly to set him up, Spider-Man, for the Avengers and uh future films and i read after uh, a little bit after you know watching the movie and whatnot i went and looked up a few things now they're already they're already working on sequels they're, they got sequels planned so they're working on the sequels i can't wait for those um and what's cool about it they actually want to they actually want to film this kind of like harry potter you know like it's like year one of high school or school vice versa they want to do that so this is his freshman year then the next one's going to be his sophomore and junior and vice versa you know they want to do that so that's gonna be cool to see but um, let's go ahead and get into that again. I'm sorry. I, I like dwelled off. Uh, the whole Iron Man thing. He's not in this movie for that much. A lot of people might think he's in this for the whole movie. He's not. He's only in it for a few minutes. And it's mostly to set up that father and son sort of feel. You know what I'm saying? That bond between uh, Stark and, uh, and uh, Peter. Now, obviously, we know uh, Thanos <clears throat> is going to be a big part of the story. Uh, universe we know he's gonna be the main villain if you don't know what the infinity stones do um for the infinity gauntlet they each have the power over a different pacific they, have, they each each gem have, has a specific power the mind stone which is in Vis vision's head controls um you know it gives you it controls your very mind basically it does do what it says it controls your mind as well as enhance things like that hence why wanda maximoff aka uh, Scarlet Witch is the one is the woman she is today. Um, they did kind of like shoehorn Quicksilver in it with that power though. That was kind of weird. Uh, it didn't make sense that mind gives you speeds, but that's a plot hole. That's a plot twist. Um, but anyway, there's that. You got the Space Stone, which is basically the, the Tesseract from uh, uh, Captain America's uh, The First Avengers, which is really good. Uh, with uh, Red Skull. And speaking of Red Skull, we might see Red Skull again. I don't know. We could. You know, they didn't really uh, kill him off. They kind of just showed him being teleported to a different time. That's what it looked like. Um, so you got the Tesseract, which is the Space Stone. You got the Reality Stone, obviously, which was in Thor Ragnarok. 
You have the Power Stone, which was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Obviously, self-explanatory. Gives you power. You have the... Uh, what was the other ones? Hold on, where's the other ones? Where's the other ones? Uh, time Stone, which we might see in... Uh, we might see the Time Stone in uh, the new Thor movie. We might see that in the Thor movie. I don't know. We might see that. Uh, so, we'll, we'll see. But there's a, there's a Time Stone... And then there was one more that I'm missing. One more, one more that I'm missing. But you get what I'm saying. These stones each have a specific ability. And when they're all combined together, you have the might of a god, basically. You can do whatever the hell you want. You can shape humanity in any way you want. And uh, in the comics, you know, Thanos legit ripped Spider-Man's head off. I mean, in the comics. Now, will they do that in the actual movie? I'm expecting this, the movie to be a little PG. Let's face it. They don't want to traumatize the kids. I don't really think we're going to see a whole bunch of death in, like, no gruesome ways. No. It's going to be very simple, you know. But uh, that's, that's pretty much it for that part. Uh, as far as the movie concerned, though, I like the ending. The, there's there's two endings in this. There's a post credit, obviously, and there's a legit ending and all that jazz. I like both of those. Those were actually legit hilarious. Um, definitely does raise some questions for the sequel. How that uh, particular outcome is going to affect the sequel and how that's going to be legit a thing. We're going to see that obviously in the long run. So uh, that's going to be cool. Uh, the Spider-Man suit. Some people complained about the suit, saying that, uh, you know, this is more like an Iron Spider suit. I hate to break it to you. When you see this movie and when you get to a very certain part in this movie, you're not going to be saying that. <laughs> you're not going to be saying that at all. Uh, the suit, I do I do get what you guys are saying. But actually, this suit is more, the, the suit that he has now is more in line with the comics. Let's face it. The comic suit had a lot of other abilities. It had wings. It had a parachute. It had all that jazz. And it kind of made sense for them to throw a uh, Iron Man into this to give them that sort of tech to help them with that tech. You know what I'm saying? But that was the cool part. That was legit the cool part. And um, it's cool. The suit is cool. I like the suit. I like how you know it um, it can collapse with him just pressing his chest. I like that. It was pretty cool. Uh, the Vulture. Oh man, the Vulture. Man, I, you know if I had to if I had a list of characters that I did not give two shits about in terms of like the Marvel. Cinematic Universe, Vulture was always on the top list. I hated that character. I did not like the look. I didn't like how a grown-ass man had wings. He was just flying around the city. Hell, even in the old um, Tobey Maguire game, I think it was Spider-Man 1. You guys remember that with Green Goblin? He was in there. I did not like it. I thought he sucked. I was like, no, this is a crappy uh, character. But I was like, you know. But this take on Joker, where you got Batman playing the fucker, let me tell you something. Not only is he dope and badass, this dude means business. He means business. This is what I'm talking about. That is a character. I like the style of this. I like the um, I like the uh, the actual CGI effects on it too. How the wings react and how the uh, claws and everything react. That's really cool. I liked what I seen. That is really dope. That is an awesome uh, take on Vulture. Uh, definitely cool. Um, what else can I really say? Uh, the characters, every, every, all the characters had good chemistry. Uh, his best friend was pretty funny. That was pretty cool. Pretty funny, uh, friend. Um, as far as the suit, again, you're not going to be bitching about the suit until you get to the ending. Now, now with that being said, with that being said, a lot of people ask me, does this movie have a lot in common with the game, the new PlayStation 4 game that's exclusive? I'm going to tell you right now. At first, I said no, and even Insomniac said no, but at the end of this movie, and I saw a certain thing in this movie, what you guys are going to see, don't worry, you can't miss it. You're going to see it, you're going to geek out. After looking at that certain thing and comparing it to the thing that we saw in the game, okay, in terms of the actual... Uh, look of that, I might as well say it's basically a suit, but I'm not going to tell you what kind of suit it is, but after we seeing that suit and comparing that suit to what we saw in the game on PlayStation 4 that suit compared to the PlayStation 4 version, it could very well be a little in line with the uh, game a little bit, not completely, but a little bit because that suit looked exactly the same as the Spider-Man uh, suit on the PS4, I'm talking about the one the new one with the white logo, it looked exactly the same, only different color patterns, and obviously it had a different, it had obviously a whole bunch of different functions, and it had functions, that's, that's not in the game, at least I don't think so the, that's the game offers, obviously but that was about it. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. I am really, really uh, happy that Spider-Man finally gets a movie that isn't disrespectful to the fucking character, and it does it, and it does it justice. As much as I liked um, Jamie Foxx's version of Elektra, let's face it, the movie in general fucking sucked. Amazing Spider-Man 2 just sucked. It was not anything to be 
I hyped about hell. The trailers ruined the whole fucking movie. When you saw the trailer, you legit saw the movie. You knew Gwen Stacy was going to die. You knew everything was going to fucking be dumb. It was like, dude, yeah, they fucking legit just killed this movie before it even took off. <laughs> you know? The best thing about it, obviously, was um, Electro. And then they had the nerve to try to throw in the Sinister Six. You know, they had Dr. Octopus fucking arms, Vulture's wings, which looked terrible. I didn't like that version of it. And then they had fucking, uh, what was that? What was it? Uh, Rhino and shit like that in the end. And like they showed symbiotes. They had Rhino at the end, which I did like that version of Rhino. I'm not going to lie. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, but um, again, it wasn't really like, it was only in it for five seconds. That was the fucked up part. Five seconds, then you end the movie with that? No, you should just give us a fucking fight, then end the movie or something, you know? But I mean, there you go. That, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I thought it was great. And if I had to rate this movie, I would have rated it up there with Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2, for a lot of people, would be considered the best Spider-Man to a lot of people. Why? Because that's your childhood. You grew up with it. But at the same time, this Spider-Man, for the new generation and for uh, this generation period, I would say is one of the best Spider-Mans that we have gotten today. It is definitely a great um, movie to watch. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a blast. And you're actually going to love the new theme song that's for uh, Spider-Man. I like it. It's a lot. It's definitely the old school type of theme song. But it's uh, you know, it's got a nice little twist to it. It's awesome. I'm absolutely looking forward to the new movies. Obviously, I'm looking forward to Black Panther. That's my movie again. I'm looking forward to that. It's, just, it's going to be great to see, man. It's going to be great to see how uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe keeps expanding. Um, obviously, we got Ant-Man again to worry about. We got the new Ant-Man movie coming up. We got the new Thor movie. We got Black Panther. We just got this. Uh, new uh, Captain America, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, for, uh, you know, I, with that whole thing. And um, that's about it. And I, I don't even think we're going to get a new Iron Man movie. I don't know. I don't know. We could see. I don't know. But... Obviously, the Avengers, after you've seen Civil War, basically disbanded or destroyed. But who knows? We're going to see how everything uh, folds in the end, right? And uh, the post credit scene at the end of this movie was fucking hilarious. So uh, there you go. Or the end credit scene was uh, fucking hilarious. But that's it. I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, thank you guys again for uh, watching. If you guys liked it, uh, make sure you thumb it up. And I will see you guys later. All right? Be good. Deuces.